So in this section, we're going to be looking at polynomial inequalities. So dealing with inequalities for cubics and cortex. So I'm assuming past this point that you have done quadratic inequalities uh, for A-level maths. And you might already have touched upon cubic inequalities because I have already done... Um, I've done a video going through cubic, a cubic inequality on that course, just kind of like to extend it a little bit further, because it's, it's quite a straightforward way to extend it. So this section is really just about making sure that you can do that. And then in the next section, we go on to rational functions. So let's say we want to solve both of these inequalities. Now, I've put both of these into nice factorized form. Um, which means it's very easy to read off the critical values, so where the curve is crossing the x-axis. Okay, So we can go straight in with a sketch, and I would always sketch the graph here, so I can visualise what's going on. So this is a cubic curve that is crossing through the x-axis at minus 5, 3 and 4, and it's a positive x-cubed, so it's starting at the bottom left. So we're going to have this situation where we've got minus 5, 3, and 4. Remember, my sketch does not have to be to scale. It's just there to identify the regions. And then I'm being asked, where is the graph below the x-axis? Well, it is below it here. So when x is less than minus 5. And below it here, between 3 and 4. So when x is or x is greater than 3, but less than 4. And so these are the two regions that I need to identify. Now, um, you may be asked to write this in uh, interval notation or set notation. So in set notation, we would say x uh, belongs to the real numbers such that x is less than minus 5 union x belongs to the real numbers such that um, x is greater than 3 but less than 4. So that's as an inequality, that's in set notation or uh, in interval notation. So really what I'm, I'm doing here is this is really kind of like AQA focused, AQA further maths focused. Um, rather than the other boards, you just got to look at those specifications just to make sure. Um, but this is mainly AQA. OK, uh, so um, x is less than minus 5 or, or x is going to 3 but less than 4. So uh, in interval notation, we'd be saying x belongs to. So we're going to minus infinity up to minus 5, but we're not including it. Union um, 3, 4. OK, so we've got this region here or this region there. OK, so then we've got this second example. So draw your x-axis. Now, this is a cubic curve that's crossing through at minus a half, 5 and 9. Now, because of the minus x here, when you multiply everything out, you're going to get a minus x cubed. So that means it starts in the top left and works its way to the bottom right. So the curve will actually look something like that. So that's coming from expanding this out, you're going to get a minus x cubed, so it's around the other way. So we've got minus a half, we've got 5 and 9. So where is the graph above the x-axis? It's above it here and here. OK, so actually we've got x is less than minus a half, or x is greater than 5 but less than 9. So in set notation, x belongs to the real numbers, such that x is less than minus a half. Union, x belongs to the real numbers, such that x is greater than 5 but less than 9. And in interval notation, x belongs to, so minus infinity to minus a half in curved brackets, union, 5 comma 9. OK, and so they are the solutions to those uh, cubic inequalities.